Wayne, how did you first become acquainted with the Oswald? I met them through uh, friends at a party last winter. Uh, and then uh, saw more of Marina later. I was interested in talking with her because uh, I was trying to learn the language. Then later, they had financial difficulty when he lost his work. And uh, it eventually led to my inviting her to live with me in uh, Dallas while she was waiting for her baby that was born in October and to stay on a couple of months with me just as one woman with another uh, can help when babies are small and then I think they expected to get an apartment together when they could afford it say after Christmas sometime. Where were you uh, with Mrs. Oswald when the news of the president's death came? We were both sitting on the sofa. We had been watching the morning proceeding on the television, and I translated to her when I heard it that he had been shot and the blood spurted from him. And uh, we were, I was crying and she was very upset. Um, and uh, indeed, this was our condition when uh, men came from the uh, police department in Dallas. And that was the first that we had any indication that uh, her husband was associated with this tragic event. Um, she said to me after we had been at the police station, she could not imagine her husband uh, doing anything of this sort. He uh, never said anything that she heard derogatory about the husband. Indeed, her opinions had been formed much by what he said to her in translation from the news media and uh, her opinion was very favorable. I think she felt, as we all do, that the terrible loss to our nation and to the world. In the meetings in which you encountered Mr. Oswald, did you ever feel that, this, that something like this would transpire? No, not at all. I saw him as he came to visit her here. Uh, he was then a husband and father, played with his little girl, helped feed her supper. Uh, I couldn't, I still can't imagine that he could do anything as violent, as premeditated as he must have done. I think if he planned it ahead, it was planned on very short notice that uh, he suddenly realized he had an opportunity to uh, no longer be a little guy, but to be someone extraordinary. I think uh, Probably, I will always have terrible, if only, feelings, along with many Secret Service men and many people of the nation, anyone who's ever had any contact with these people, to say, if only I had done something. But uh, this was, as far as I was concerned, utterly without warning, utterly to me yet without explanation. Mrs. Payne, you have been reluctant to speak to television cameras before this evening. Is there any particular reason for that? Yes, I think uh, it's a terrible thing to judge a man before he is brought to trial. And in this case, it's a very difficult thing not to do. The evidence was so incriminating, and just as we, all of us, the nation, saw it on the television, uh, I began to wonder how they would ever get a jury that could give him an impartial trial. But now, of course, he's dead. He has been, in effect, judged quickly and hanged. And uh, we can, there's no question of prejudicing people by what we say now. The difficulty of uh, saying anything that wouldn't tend to prejudice an entire nation already very upset and wanting to, quite rightly, to bring to justice as soon as possible, the man who had done this terrible thing. I felt as much, the more attention was given this man, the Oswald, the less were the chances of a uh, of, of due process being carried out of his having uh, a trial in which he would be uh, innocent until proved guilty at that trial. This is always a problem. What type of a man did you picture Lee Harvey Oswald as? I saw him primarily as a father here. Um, he was 
quiet. Hard to get to know at first. I didn't feel I knew him well at all until uh, I did see how much he was concerned about his uh, finances when he was out of work and got his last unemployment check and had no signs of a job ahead of him and a baby on the way. He had all the feelings, I think, of any father that uh, doesn't know where he's going to get the money to support his family. And, of course, it was this difficult economic situation that uh, brought about the fact that I offered my help as a woman to uh, Marina while she was expecting her child. Uh, I, don't, I didn't see him as a fanatic or a person about to do a wild thing or even who could. I, I was surprised to learn that he had a gun. Was there any uh, particular reason, do you feel, why he couldn't find work up until that time? Was he flooded? Well, the main reason, I think, is that he had only a high school education, did not have a license to drive a car, which limited where he could apply and the kind of work he could do. And there are a good many unskilled, unemployed in Texas now. So that uh, it just really was difficult. I don't think it was a matter of his political views that interfered with his finding a job. Do you think his uh, past problems uh, at 20 years old going to the Soviet Union, did he ever indicate that this may have had something to do with his lack of employment? I wondered myself whether it did. I think it had, it might have had something to do with his being fired. I don't think uh, it had anything to do with uh, his not being hired. This is not something a person looking for a, a laborer looks into. He wasn't doing, applying to jobs that would require security clearance or anything looking into his past. He was simply looking for a minimum wage and a salary to keep his family on. What type of work did he enjoy most doing? He did enjoy doing uh, some uh, photographic layout work that he had been doing in Dallas. Uh, he didn't talk much about his work. Indeed, we talked very little, he and I, together. Uh, I saw him here, but uh, we had little opportunity and, and little information, really, to talk to one another. You were in very few social uh, commitments with him, or in social uh, circles, but did he at any time uh, indicate any overboard feelings one way or the other uh, in talking with people? I did feel that he was uh, very rigid in his thinking about some doctrines that I cannot understand at all. I, I do think he was a book Marxist, had read the books and thought that this was the way it should be, that uh, capitalism was a bad system. I felt as he talked that there's no point in arguing to, with this man if he thinks that he is out to be exploited. I think that's more the comment of a man who feels a little bit persecuted by life than a rational and substantial uh, point that he could substantiate in fact. I just observed to myself, here is a man who feels that life has been tough and he hasn't uh, got a proper deal out of it. I hoped that he might feel uh, that life was generous. I hoped indeed that he might feel some generosity here in what he received from me for his wife. I really hoped that he might feel some uh, ease of this discontent he did feel in the existing society just by easing if in, if in his own heart could feel uh, ease. But I guess uh, I'm no psychologist. I suppose it's just all too late when a man is 24 to uh, change his feelings about the way life is or the, the way it, he expects it to treat him. How is Mrs. Oswald, what were her feelings? Did she ever express any to you in conversation about this country? Yes, she likes this country very much. She would like very much to stay here and raise her children here. She has felt people very friendly. Uh, she's a person who would easily make friends if she knew the language. And I think as she learns the language, will make friends. Of course, this will be, this event will make a great problem for her there. Uh, but uh, she expressed to me Friday evening after we had come from the police station that she was very worried that this might prevent her staying in the United States. She would prefer to stay here. 
Mrs. Payne, has Mrs. Oswald ever encountered any anti-Russian feeling here in the United States? No, she said people were universally very kind to her. She was very impressed with the uh, uh, neighborliness of this street and the way people would, my neighbor would offer uh, something for the baby or uh, uh, bring back something I'd loaned to her. This uh, very natural friendliness and uh, generosity with one's own goods. In Russia, things are harder to come by. You can't always go to the store and get baby shoes when you want them. But they're just not there to be bought. And here, you can not only go to the store and buy them when you want them, but uh, friends and neighbors offer you the loan of many things. And uh, she uh, was very happy to see this kind of generosity so so much uh, in evidence before her. At one time, people had speculated, as, as this case developed, that because Mr. and Mrs. Oswald were living apart, that there were marital difficulties. Did you feel that this was the case, or did you ever see anything like that? They did quarrel some, but I felt that was uh, the quarreling that happens in many uh, marital uh, relations, that uh, they did want to get an apartment when it was financially feasible for them. He was uh, glad, I think, that she could be with another woman during the time of the birth of the baby and when the baby was so small. But uh, there were no real marital difficulties that I knew of between them. Did Lee Oswald ever express his feelings about the Soviet Union when he came back? Did he reminisce about the things he had seen there? I heard him speak once at the same party where I first met him and his wife, talked to the group there about uh, having been there. He, uh, I recall he was critical, or at least talked about the censorship that uh, he experienced there, letters from his brother that he never got, learned later about. But uh, he, uh, and of course he did express a wish to come back. But just what he truly felt about the system, I never did know. Did he ever express any thoughts about Cuba? Uh, not to me, no, not, not at me. any time. Mrs. Payne, you were with Mrs. Oswald when the news of the president's death was broadcast. Did she indicate any feelings to you at that time? She uh, said to me how terrible she felt this was for Mrs. Kennedy. What a terrible thing to lose her husband. What a terrible thing for the two children not to have their father. And uh, then again, later after we had been uh, to the police station, we talked that evening, Friday evening, she said to me, I never could have imagined when I was talking to you about my sympathies for Mrs. Kennedy that I too might be losing my husband if my children would be without a father. <laughs>